In this power skating tutorial, we're going to look at skating in a group. Skating in a group is one of the most enjoyable, but at the same time, one of the most scary aspects of our sport. The reason why it's important to learn how to skate in a group is because by following in someone else's draft or slipstream, you can save as much as 30% of your energy. And the faster speed that you're traveling, the greater the benefit to you being able to skate comfortably and relaxed in the draft. Always when you see top professional skaters skating in a group, it looks like second nature to them. One of the tips I recommend for skating in a group is practice firstly with people that you know, people that you trust and are confident skating around, because therefore, when you skate with them over time, it becomes easier to skate with other people too. Another tip for being able to skate comfortably and relaxed in a group is to pay attention to the skater in front of your shoulders. Rather than just looking at what their feet are doing to stay in time, actually look at their shoulders because their shoulders will actually control the rhythm and cadence of their feet. By this I mean that when their shoulders are moving, their feet are generally moving at the same time. And when their shoulders are not moving, it means they're rolling or resting. It is also important to practice this on a regular basis because it's one of those situations where you learn by doing. So it doesn't matter if you're skating at a world championship level, Berlin Marathon, 24 hours of Le Mans, or just out with your friends skating. Learning to be comfortable and relaxed in the slipstream of your group is one thing that will lead to better results or new personal best times. Stay tuned for more power skating episodes.